Did you know that a single event on a single day changed the world? It was October the 31st, 1517. So that makes it 505 years ago today. Brother Martin, a monk and a scholar, had struggled for years with his church, the church in Rome, and he had greatly he had been greatly disturbed by an unprecedented indulgence sale. And the story has all the makings of a Hollywood blockbuster. Let's meet the cast. First, there is the young bishop, too young by church laws, Albert of uh, Mainz, I believe. Not only was he the bishop over two bishop, uh, bishoprics, I guess, he desired an additional archbishopric over Mainz. This, too, was against church laws. So Albert appealed to the Pope in Rome, Leo X, and from the Di, Di Maggio family, Leo X greedily allowed his taste to exceed his financial resources. Enter the artist and sculptors Raphael and Michelangelo. Hmm, are you fans of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Well, there you go. Look at that. Raphael and Michelangelo. When Albert of Mainz appealed for a papal dispensation, Leo was ready to deal. Albert, with the papal blessing, would sell indulgences for past, present, and future sins. Can you believe it? All of this sickened the monk Martin Luther. Can we buy our way into heaven? Luther had to speak out. Now think about it. Can we buy our way into heaven? Luther had to speak out. But why October 31st? Well, November the 1st held a special place in the church calendar as All Saints Day. On November the 1st, 1517, a massive exhibit of newly acquired relics would be on display at Wittenberg, Luther's home city. Pilgrims would come from all over. Uh, not sure what that word is. Genuflect. Not sure what that word is. Genuflect before the relics and take hundreds, if not thousands of years of time in purgatory, off of their time in purgatory. Luther's soul grew, grew even more vexed. None of this seemed right. Reformation Day celebrates the, the joyful beauty of the liberating gospel of Jesus Christ. Martin Luther, a scholar, took quill in hand, dipped it in his inkwell, and penned his 95 theses on October the 31st, 1517. Again, that's 505 years ago. These were intended to spark a debate, to stir some soul-searching among his fellow brothers in the church. The 95 Theses sparked far more than a debate. The 95 Theses also revealed the church was far beyond rehabilitation. It needed a reformation. The church and the world would never be the same. One of Luther's 95 Theses simply declares the church's true treasure is the gospel of Jesus Christ. That alone is the meaning of Reformation Day. The church had lost sight of the gospel because it had long ago uh, papered over the pages of God's word with layer upon layer of tradition. Mere tradition often brings about systems of works, of earning your way back to God. It was true of the Pharisees, and it was true of medieval Roman Catholicism. Didn't Christ himself say, My yoke is easy and my burden is light? Reformation Day celebrates the joyful beauty of the liberating gospel of Jesus Christ. What is Reformation Day? It is the day of the light of the God. The, the, it is the day the light of the gospel broke forth out of darkness. It was the day that began the Protestant Reformation. It was the day that led Martin Luther, John Calvin, John Knox, and many other reformers helping the church find its way back to God's word as the only supreme authority for faith and life and leading the church back to the glorious doctrines 
of justification by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. It kindled the fires of missionary endeavors. It led to hymn writing and congregational singing, and it led to the centrality of the sermon and the preaching for the people of God. It is a celebration of a theological act ecclesiastical cultural transformation so we celebrate reformation day this day reminds us to be thankful for our past and to the monk turned reformer what's more this day reminds us of our duty our obligation to keep the light of the gospel at the center of all we do all right, so I'm reading from this article um, that was originally published uh, two years ago. And so, obviously, you can see that I'm scrolling through here reading that. And that is, uh, What is Reformation Day? And uh, by Stephen Nichols. And I found it. This is the website I found it at right here. Uh, L-I-G-O-N-I-E-R dot org right there so uh so yeah even though today is halloween which i just despise anyway today is halloween but for the protestant christian it is reformation day 505 years later so um anyway of course when we think of martin luther most people would think of martin luther king jr but see martin luther king jr was named after um well, his father, oh, that's another story in itself. Uh, uh, actually, did you know that Martin Luther King Jr., uh, his actual name was Michael when he was born? But his pa his dad, as a pastor, uh, changed their names to, changed his name to Martin Luther. And therefore, his son became Martin Luther King Jr. after this very monk, Martin Luther. So, uh, so when we see the name Martin Luther, it's not just Martin Luther King, it's Martin Luther the monk that started the Protestant Reformation. I, I, so I, I just had to tell you that I had to get that off my mind today. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to let you know that October 31st is more than just Halloween. It is Reformation Day for the Protestant believer in Jesus Christ. And with that, I say hallelujah and amen and may Jesus Christ be glorified.